Welcome to the eFile Overview. This video will provide users with an overview of the eFile section of the control sheet. During this video, users will learn the eFile process built into CCH Access Workflow. We will explain the different columns in the section and the information they hold. We will walk through the three steps of the eFile process and show the different ways to view tasks that are in the eFile process. From the My View or Search screen results page users will choose the client to open the control sheet. To access the e-file section on the control sheet users can either scroll down to the section or choose e-file from the bookmarks available. The columns of information available in this section are Deliverable Form Filing Method Consent Shipped On Consent Received On E-Filed On E-Filed By DCM Document Control Number E-File Accepted On E-File Rejected On and deliverable status. To have full access to the e-file section, the date delivered must be populated in the shipping section of the control sheet. This tells the system that the return or returns have been sent to the client and we are now waiting for information back. As shown in this example, there is no information in the date delivered column of the shipping section and subsequently the deliverables in the e-file section are grayed out and cannot be accessed by clicking in the areas available. Once the user populates the date delivered in the shipping section, they will see that the e-file section has now been populated to the first step in the e-file process which is e-file awaiting taxpayer consent form and the date delivered has been applied to the consent shipped on column. There are three steps in the e-file process. E-file awaiting taxpayer consent form. E-file to be transmitted, which means when you send it to the taxing authority, and e-file awaiting government acceptance. When the task is in the e-file awaiting taxpayer consent form status. This generally is not accessed again for a couple of days, possibly weeks, until the client sends back the consent form, letting the user know they can continue with the e-file process. When the task is in the e-file process it is no longer visible on the user's My View page. It is now in one of the e-file statuses. There are a couple of ways users can access the e-file statuses. They can search using advanced search, they can also look under the users and choose the statuses of the e-file process. Once the tasks are located, Users can sort by the status or use the pie chart to drill down and look at the different clients in the different statuses. Users can now update the information depending on the stage that they are working on. Suppose the user has received a great number of consent forms. In that case, they can pull up the group of e-file awaiting taxpayer consent forms, and they can update one client by selecting the checkbox corresponding to a client and going to their task information and e-file. From there, the user will populate the date that the consent form was received back. This will then move it to the status of e-file to be transmitted. Users can now go ahead and transmit the returns to the taxing authority by going into their tax software. Users would then populate today's date in the e-filed on column. Once that is complete, it will move to the next step in the e-file process, which is e-file awaiting government acceptance. Now at this point, it generally takes the taxing authority a couple of days to approve or reject an e-file. Once a return is accepted by the government, the user will update the e-file accepted on date and the task will then move to the completed status. Or if it was not accepted the user can put the date under the e-file rejected on column. Users will see the current status will not change, it will still sit in the e-file awaiting government acceptance. This is because there may be one return that gets e-file accepted, and one that's still waiting, and one that maybe gets rejected. Rather than closing the task completely, it gives the user the chance to continue if they want to make additional updates and changes. When all the deliverables have the deliverable status of complete, the user will click on move to complete it and it will see the status updates to complete it. Once this happens, the task will now show as completed in all searches and reports you may run going forward. This concludes this video tutorial on the e-file section.